good day to you ladies and gentlemen I'm your instructor here for your history one in architecture in Surigao Education Center and our subject is about history one that is Western architecture started from the Stone Age period during 12th century BC up to the Renaissance period down to the Baroque period in architecture. Okay, let's proceed. What is history of architecture? Well, it traces the origin, growth, and decline of architectural styles which have prevailed land and ages. There are, however, about six influencing factors in architecture. Ito yung naka-influensya kung paano na-design natin, paano tayo nag-come up with design of certain houses or structure because of this influencing factors. Not in order, geographical, geological, climatic, religion, historical, and sociopolitical. Example yan pag geography ang location niya kung mainit or malamig magkaibang design. Geological kung ano ang pinakamaraming materials na available in the surrounding. Example in Greece, maraming bato, maraming limestone kaya sa Greece, mga limestone, marble ang ginagamit doon sa architecture. Sa atin naman, tropical countries, maraming kahoy, round timber, kaya marami tayong kahoy na arkitektura sa Pilipinas. What is megalithic architecture? Ito yung mga malalaking bato na ginawang monumento and preserve. Example niyan, yung sa Easter Island, yung Stonehenge, This is dolmen. Ito yung structure na dolmen. May dalawang poste at may nakapatong. Dolmen ang tawag. Is a megalithic tomb with a large flat stone laid on a bright ones found chiefly in Britain and in France. Consist of large stones set on end with a large covering slab. Meron siyang slab sa ibabaw. Ito yung post and lintel na tinatawag noon. Another structure na ancient is this tumulus or tumulus, an ancient burial ground. Libingan yan. Ito yung kanyang chamber sa loob. Ang burial chamber niya ay sa loob at tinabunan ng lupa. Passage grave ang tawag dyan. Ito yung kanyang section. Side at top section. Ng passage grave. Another kind of tomb. Ito. Min here is isang megalithic structure din. A man here, a French from Middle Britain, main stone and here, men here, meaning standing stone, orthostat, lith, or massiva, or massive. Men here is a large upright standing stone. Nag-iisa lang ito, single piece of huge stone na itunusok. Example niya ng obelisk in Egypt. Hanapin natin ang obelisk. Ito yung example ng men here. Single slab stone na erected. Patayo. Vertical. Men here monoliths. Meaning isang malaking stone. Monolith. Purpose is religious, re- religious in nature. Sometimes huge stones were arranged in circle. 
and partially covered with horizontal slabs just like in the formation of the stone hands at kung ganyan na pabilog or circle yung ganyang arrangement of big stone cromlech naman ang tawag diyan ito cromlech uh, the best example is the stone hands stone hands in england ayan yung mga parts ng stone hands nakaharap uh, nakatalikod siya sa east post and lintel ang kanyang method of construction ring of broadgar it is a part of unesco world heritage site known as the heart of neolithic orkney ito yun napakahabang linya ng mga single piece of stone mga monolith na nakalinya erected during 2500 BC halos magkasabay ng Pyramid of Egypt meron ding wood hands ito yung timetable natin prehistoric historical period during 3000 BC to up to day and prehistoric is about 3 million years to 3000 BC so meaning to say ang 3000 BC hanggang sa ngayon yun na ang historical period at yung prehistoric period yun na yung panahon na ng mga dinosaur at ng mga homo sapiens evolution hindi na tayo dyan mag-touch ng topic dito na tayo sa ancient dwellings or tent dwellers of East Europe okay what are these tent dwellers of East Europe they are the group of hunting people in parts of Eastern Europe 20,000 years ago They live in tents set in hollows in the ground. The tents were made from animal skins stretched over frame of wood and mammoth tusk. Okay. All right, so let's proceed. The prehistoric lifestyle. Ayan, mga buto ng Nephilim yan, giants. Kasi ang mga tao noon ay matatangkad at malalaki. Kasi meron pa silang DNA ng mga Homo sapiens. Parang hybrid, crossbreed galing sa ape to humans. Ito na yung Neolithic period kung saan ang mga tao ay hunters and food gatherers mar- mar- marunong na silang mag garden at mar- marunong din mag hunt ng pagkain ano ba yung animism yung kanilang ritual or belief about animals sacrifices hindi na tayo mag touch dyan hindi na yan topic ng architecture skip tayo diyan Let's balik tayo dito guys sa uh, prehistoric architecture yung tinatawag na megalithic ito yung maganda ang pagka-arrange ng topic na powerpoint dolmen ito yung tomb of standing stones usually capped with large horizontal slab 
kanyan. Yung chromlick naman ay circular yung arrangement ng stones. Ang tumulus or passage grave ay yung mound ng lupa na nasa ilalim niyan ang libingan ng kung sino man yan. Sa primitive dwellings, mayroong klaseng primitive dwellings tulad ng iglo sa Alaska sa northern sa North Pole makikita yung mga iglo kung saan maraming snow doon naman sa Northern America itong mga Red Indians ay gumawa ng mga tents na gawa sa skin ng mga buffalo o ng mga cows wild bulls even skin from Uh, wild animals Well, punta tayo dito guys sa mga struktura sa Middle East Near East ito yung famous structure sa history natin. Ang ziggurats. Na ganyan, ang itsura niyan. Square yung ganyang pan. Three stages, meaning three terraces or three floors or story ang paggawa ng ziggurat. Malaki yan na parang palasyo. Yan ay, ang purpose ay for temples for gods. At kung punta naman tayo sa Egypt, ito magkikita natin sa Egypt. Nag-start ang kanilang sibilisasyon 3000 B.C sa panahon ni Ramses King Ramses or yung panahon ni Moses ay kasabay sa panahon ni King Ramses kasi si Ramses ang kanyang step brother ni Moses ang kanilang religion ay polytheist meaning marami silang Diyos ito yung kanilang style of architecture or yung tinatawag na character ang kanilang column ay influenced by plants surrounding Egypt like the lotus flower and the palm tree kaya magkikita natin dito sa common ornaments nila ay lotus and papyrus Papyrus, isang uri ng, ta, ng tanim or plant doon sa Egypt, ang papyrus. Kung saan, yan daw ang kinawang papel noon. Pinakaunang papel, aside from Chinese paper na gawa sa rice, ang word na paper ay hango yan sa papyrus. Na Egyptian word for a plant na ginawang papel sa Egypt. Bago nagagawa ang China ng papel, ang Egypt muna ang unang nagagawa niyan. Mastaba. Ito yung libingan ng mga official ng palasyo. Pwede rin libingan ng may malaking o mataas na ranggo sa mga sundalo sa Egypt. Yan ang mastaba. While ang pyramids naman ay simple doon ililibing yung queen, king, even anak ng mga king or pharaoh, dyan ilalagay sa pyramid of Egypt. At tingnan natin ang loob ng pyramid of Egypt, maybe in our next video. Hindi muna tayo didiritso ngayon kasi napakabilis naman ng topic kung diritsohin natin. Alright. So, 
Pagkita mo na natin dito ang pinakaunang pyramid ng Egypt. Ito, the st- uh, Step Pyramid of Zuzer, Saqqara Desert. Ito yung pinakaunang pyramid sa Egypt. Designed by the first architect in the history, si Imhotep. Ito, in recorded history of mankind in architectural field, si Imhotep ang pinakaunang arkitekto na nakapagpatayo ng napakalaking istruktura na tinatawag na Zuzer Pyramid or Step Pyramid of Zuzer. And then, the bent pyramid, parang nakabent siya, hindi straight. Mayroong curve dito, kaya tinatawag na bent pyramid. Ang nag-design niyan, still si Imhotep. And then, here comes the three pe- uh, famous pyramid of all time. The King Khufu Pyramid, King Khafre, and King Minkora, or Mikirinos in Egyptian literature. Also, the Great Sphinx, shows King Shepherd as a man lion protecting his country. Alright guys, dito lang muna tayo hanggang Egyptian pyramid lang tayo. By our next video ay pagpatuloy natin ang section of the pyramids at iba pang struktura sa Egypt. At bago tayo magtapos ay I would like to remind you that You must answer these questions after this video. I will post a question and you can answer it on a clean sheet of band paper and compile your answer for every week. We have activity, we have questions to answers and then your answers should be put inside the brown envelope and submit your com- compilation of answers in that envelope personally into our school into our office right here at SAC office in architecture room okay so I'll see you in the next video and be safe from COVID and God bless at huwag kalimutang mag-subscribe and mag-comment sa channel na ito para malaman ko kung kayo ay nag-open ng video or hindi nag-open ng video na ito. Salamat! I'll see you next time.